Forget everything you know about AI image prompting. The game has changed. And it's more interactive than you ever imagined. This is real-time, dynamic collaboration between you and your AI, turning every generated image into a co-created work of art. This isn't an upgrade. It's a prompting revolution. And if you think Dolly 3 won't change aspect ratios, you are in for a surprise. It can do that and so much more. Are you ready to experience the next frontier in AI-powered creativity? Today, we explore the game-changing integration of Dolly 3 and ChatGPT 4. If you're a ChatGPT subscriber, you may have noticed a new option. Start a new chat and choose Dolly 3. Your chat doesn't look any different, but it is. You've just taken your first step into a new world of prompting. Let me show you what I mean. Type a prompt, any prompt. I'm gonna work with one of my favorite two word prompts. Simply ask for an image. ChatGPT returns a grid of four diverse images created using Dolly 3. Wow. And you can easily download them by clicking the icon in the corner. Let's take a closer look. Click on one of the images to expand. Wait a second, this isn't my prompt. And yet it is. ChatGPT4 interprets and expands on your idea to create diverse images. It tries to capture the essence of your concept. It adds details and backgrounds and moods. It even gives you a choice of mediums. In my case, it included photographs, an illustration, and a painting. Can you ask ChatGPT to run your prompt exactly? Of course. But why would you want to limit the creative potential of the AI? Your prompt is no longer the final idea. It's the opening line in an artistic dialogue. Let's see what we can do with one of these images. You can refer to one of the images in the grid by number, or type in the first few words of the prompt. Let's make some variations. And now let's upscale the image. Wait, that's not a square image. Dolly has always been just square images. But no more. Dolly 3 now has aspect ratios. Upscaling automatically gives you a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but you can ask for a tall 9 by 16 image, a wide image, or a square image. Currently, it doesn't take precise aspect ratios, at least not yet, but it can change your orientation. Now watch, you can zoom in, And you can zoom out. Now notice it's changing your image a little bit each time. If you look at the prompt, you'll notice there are details that have changed. That's because ChatGPT is changing the prompt. It's keeping the vibe, but the details change. So when you expand your image, it's not exactly outpainting. It's rerunning the prompt with your new instructions. So what else can you change? Well, you can't actually in-paint in the traditional sense, but you can remix and change features of your image. You can change colors. Or lighting. You can change elements of your image and note what you want to see as well as what you don't want to see. You can prompt for new textures. Or give your image an historical look in a particular art style. And 
feel free to change the medium. You can change all sorts of features of your image. Just ask. ChatGPT will rerun the prompt and include your request. Each time your image will be slightly different, but it will be getting closer and closer to your ultimate vision. If you want to go back to an earlier version, simply ask. You can refer to an image by the first few words of the prompt or conversationally. Now you can start exploring a new line of creativity. Can you keep your image the same but change details? Well, sort of. You can ask for the same seed but ChatGPT4 isn't really able to change the technical details of the generation process. But you can ask the AI to keep the image the same, and it will try, and sometimes it can get pretty close. So let's look at a couple other things you can do. You can make tiles by asking for a repeated pattern. It doesn't work 100% of the time, but it does work. You can upload images into ChatGPT in the default mode and in the advanced data analysis mode, but there's no way to upload images into the DALI 3 plugin. Or is there? You can't upload an image, but if there's one online, you can reference an image. ChatGPT recognized what was in this image and used it as part of the prompt. And what about waiting? You can easily ask ChatGPT to wait part of your prompt. Use conversational language. Or use the waiting system that Midjourney uses. ChatGPT seems to understand this. It's not a direct waiting, but it does change the prompt and try to add the emphasis. Now, before you start conjuring up a limitless realm of possibilities, it's good to touch base with the current limitations. There is a resolution cap. I did try to upsize the image, and while ChatGPT said it did it, when I downloaded the image, it was the same size as the original. And the AI isn't perfect. Sometimes the generations might not fully capture what you intend, but it's super simple to just correct the AI and have it run the image again. And there is a rate limit. Too many prompts, too quickly, and you might get a friendly reminder to take a break. You can keep chatting with the AI and ask it questions, but you can't run images. And sadly, these wonderful images are only stored in your ChatGPT chats. They aren't in your Dolly 3 collections. So there you have it. We're not just experiencing a new tool, we're entering into a new era of prompting creativity. We now have a dialogue between you and the AI. The machine understands not just the pixels, but the context, emotion, and nuance. And it remembers what you prompted before, so you can build on it. With the integration of Dolly 3 and ChatGPT 4, your prompt isn't the end. It's just the beginning. Give us your top tips and tricks for creating images in Dolly 3 using ChatGPT4 in the comments below. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together. <laughs>